So there are 13 essential vitamins that have been discovered so far, and they have very important functions in the human body. They help support and regulate our immune system, for example. They help regulate how our genes are expressed and how we make proteins. They support our central nervous system and all of our neurons and the electrical activity and how we communicate uh, with our cells. They regulate hormones. They facilitate the production of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, which is the energy currency that all of our cells and the cellular processes use to get their work done. They also uh, make red blood cells for us, so we can't really survive without these vitamins. Now, you might be wondering, what happened, what about vitamin F and G and H and I and J to Z, right? Well, originally scientists actually used all these letters as they were discovering these vital amines, these bioactive compounds. But the more we learned about the human body and these, uh, these compounds and vitamins, some of them uh, either fell off the list or got reclassified. For example, vitamin F was originally essential fatty acids. Uh, vitamin G uh, eventually became known as vitamin B2 or riboflavin. Vitamin H was uh, reclassified as vitamin B7 and became part of the, the B complex. Uh, vitamins J and P, for example, we eventually discovered that these nutrients were beneficial for rats but didn't really help human health very much. And in order to kind of qualify as a vitamin, it really has to be essential for human health. Okay, so, so these fell off the list, all right? Now, there are, of course, other nutrients that we need for human health other than just the essential micronutrients. Take phytonutrients, for example. These are those colorful pigments that we find in plants, the, the rainbow of colors. Phytonutrients are protective in nature. They protect plants. They also protect human cells and, and humans. But scientists don't really deem phytonutrients essential because, frankly, we can survive without them, but we just don't live as long before disease sets in. Okay, so depends on what you consider essential. I consider phytonutrients essential because I'd like to live a long life without disease, frankly. But um, I guess another way to put it is, without vitamins, we die pretty quickly. And without phytonutrients, we die more slowly. I guess you could look at it that way. Now, um, I guess with all essential micronutrients, uh, they have to be absorbed in the gut in order for them to function in our body, right? The gut is the interface between what's outside us uh, to what gets inside of us and in our blood. So without a functioning gut, vitamins don't do us a lot of good. So we can't underestimate the importance of a healthy gastrointestinal tract uh, when we talk about vitamins and human health. And, uh, you know, Hippocrates, 2,500 years ago, the father of medicine, was the first to coin this famous phrase that all disease begins in the gut. And the more we learn about human health and the human immune system, the more we know uh, he was a pretty clever chap and, and he was pretty spot on 